Hi everyone, welcome back to the Clean Beauty 5x5. Today we are talking blush, and I'm excited for this week, mainly because I oftentimes just skip blush, partially because I forget about it, and also because it's just kind of not really my go-to. But lately I've found some amazing blush products, so I'm really excited to share those with you. I also, for someone who doesn't use a lot of blush products, I have a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now six products. Oh no, make that five. I think we should start with a product that I've been really, really into, and also because I feel like the last five by fives, I haven't had the best things to say about Ilia products, which generally I really like Ilia products, especially the mascara, which is amazing, but yeah. The brow product and the eyeliner, just not good. So I'm excited to feature a product that I'm kind of obsessed with and actually think it's my favorite product in like the last couple of months. This is the Ilia Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. And technically it's like it's a blush, but it's also, it would be like a multi-stick, except it's not in stick form. So you can use this on your lips, you can use this on your cheek, you can use this on your eyes. I have done all of the above, but I tend to prefer it on my cheeks. But I do find that if I have leftover product, I'll just rub it on my lips, and it's very beautiful. Comes in all different shades. I went for sort of like a mauve pink. You can see, I'll put some on my hand so that you, you guys can see. And it just comes out of the tube like this. And that is the color. So you can apply this with your fingers, which I tend to do a lot. Just place it on your cheeks and dab it in. Or you can also use a brush or a beauty sponge. I'm gonna show you what the beauty sponge looks like on the other side. Super easy. It's just a great, versatile product. I'm gonna take you outside so that you can see it in better light. So now you can see it. It's just a really beautiful color. Application is amazing. I love it and I really hope it lasts all day. It has been a day. You know when you feel like you must be superhuman because there's no way you could possibly get all of that done in a day? Today was one of those days. I just got home from teaching yoga, wolfed down dinner, and almost forgot to film this. But here I am. Now, I feel like the light isn't doing it justice, but it's there. It's definitely still there. Oh, the lighting changed a little bit. You can see it a little bit more. It sort of blended in a little bit more with my bronzer, so it's definitely not super pinky anymore, but there is color there, and it was pretty long lasting. It definitely doesn't stay on your lips and on your eyes, it, it moves a lot, but in terms of like cheek tint, I'm into it. So my plan today was actually to use another product. It was the Well People Universalist Stick, but I just looked online and apparently it's discontinued. So they have some other multi-stick on there, but I don't own it. So I don't wanna review something that isn't available. So I thought I would actually share this guy, which is from Bite Beauty. Now in full transparency, I don't think Bite Beauty is actually that clean. They might be like sort of greenwashing. I'm not totally positive. I'll do some research and include it in the description box below. But I do really, really like this product and I am curious to see how it holds up. I got this a couple of years ago. Definitely thought it was more natural than it was, but again, I could be wrong on it. I just really, really liked the shade and that's the thing about Bite Beauty. They have pretty much like every shade available. This is a nice kind of peachy color. I liked that it was something that I can use on my cheeks, on my lids, on my lips, and you'll notice that that's kind of a trend this week when it comes to blush. I like multi-purpose products. I am gonna be reviewing some pressed blush though, so don't worry. So I usually just do one or two Flicks on my cheek, well, maybe a little bit more just to even that out. And again, you can use your hands or you can use a beauty sponge or you can use a brush. You got many options here. It's just a really, really nice shade. I'm also having a great skin day and I just wanna take a moment of appreciation for that. I think we should all take moments of appreciation when we're having good skin days because who knows when they'll come again. Yeah, so it's more like a like lighter lipstick. It's definitely not a stain in any way. I do like the packaging. It's very small and magnetic. And this is in the shade Praline. So it's a nice kind of like more orangey tone. I didn't go super heavy handed, but it does look nice on the lips and I love a good versatile product. Figured I would catch the last of the natural light to try and show that it looks really, really good. So. Thumbs up for Bite Beauty. Again, haven't done the research on the quality of the product, but 
I'm pretty sure it's okay. It's definitely cleaner than conventional, but it, I don't think it's like the cleanest out there. But I will check. If it's amazing, that's awesome because it's super, super long lasting. So thumbs up for Bite Beauty. This is why you appreciate the good skin days. Cause then you wake up the next day with like two zits in the center of your forehead. That or I jinx myself. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup then we'll check in with the blush. Okay, much better. So today we are chatting about the Han All Natural Pressed Blush. Love this stuff. That's kind of the theme of this week. I don't really have any products that I don't love, but I am curious to see how long they last. I do find generally press doesn't last as long. I think, I don't know why. I can't even like, I'm not even gonna bother to try and explain the science behind that, but generally I only go for like liquid or cream blush cause that's my style, but I do really like this product. It reminds me a lot of their pressed bronzer which you guys know that I really, really love. Might have got a little heavy handed there. Gotta even them out. And this is in the shade Bloom. I really, really like Han products. I just find they're great quality and they're really affordable and just like really good ingredients. So big fan of that. So this is the blush. Looking nice, went a little bit heavier handed the hair. I also went a little bit lighter on the bronzer today, so kind of more of that flushed look. All right, it is the very last of daylight. It's like seven o'clock, so I've had this on for like nine hours. Definitely can still see it. Have some rosy cheek action going. I don't think it sits as well on me as cream blushes do, just my personal opinion, but it's very easy, it's super affordable, great ingredients. Yeah, big, big fan. All right, let's do this again tomorrow. All right, we got another day. We are gonna do the Juice Beauty Cream Blush. It is called Orange Blossom, so it's more of an orangey shade. This is it. I will say the magnetic thing really does not work well, and like clearly because it's gotten all over the top there, and it comes right out, but it is a really, really pretty shade. I just oftentimes don't go for this because I feel like I'm gonna break it. I'm just gonna put a little on my finger, Dab some on my cheek. It's super creamy, but also light at the same time, which is kind of impressive. So it's definitely a buildable blush, which is nice. A more natural looking shade. I think I might go a little bit heavier here, adding a little bit more on just so that we can see at the end of the day what it looks like. Again, you can just use your fingers to blend this in. You can use a brush. I just, I like my beauty sponge. Okay, so there you have it. Let's take you outside. So this is it, a super natural, not super natural, but just it's very natural looking, light, rosy, kind of orangey shade. I think this is really pretty if you're looking for something that's like lightweight, you can throw in your purse, very easy application. So once again, it's just before the sun goes down. I've been trying to catch it right before the sun goes down so you can see it in natural light because I think it shows it off a little bit better, but you can still see it's a little bit flushed. It's definitely not as long lasting as some of the other ones, but I think it's a more natural look. So if you're not looking for like super blush, super rosy cheeks, this is a really, really nice option. I actually really like this one. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to keep that like magnet in place so that I can use it more often because it just feels really natural, which I really, really like, so. All right, we're officially on the final day and I'm going to be using a sample of this Kyer Weiss Cream Blush. I don't know what color it's in because it doesn't actually say, but I was looking on the Credo website and there's like, I think four or so different shades. So you can kind of compare, I'll show you the color. It's sort of like, it's a, a pinkier tone, more mauve -y color. Is it mauve or mauve? I don't really know. I was also looking at the price and it is insanely expensive so this better look like liquid gold on my face for the price of this luckily i just got a sample of this i have no idea where i got it from maybe in like a credo order or something like that i'm just using my fingers it has kind of a similar consistency to the juice beauty one and apparently also comes out of its magnetic place sometimes i wonder if like these companies are all just like using the same thing and just rebranding it and Kyer Weiss's are just way more expensive. I will say this does go on really nicely and you can definitely just apply this with a finger. You don't need a beauty sponge. But again, for like double the price of all of the other blushes, I'm not sure that it's that amazing, but we'll see how it holds up. I'm not a huge fan of the color and that's maybe why. Like it looks a little clowny to me, but 
I'm just gonna use a beauty sponge to mix it in a little bit more. So here is the finished look. It actually, it looks quite nice, I have to say. I think it was just the lighting in the bathroom. It is gonna be kind of a long day today. We're gonna be in the park, there's a music festival, and then tonight we have a friend's birthday party, so I'm probably gonna wanna touch up my makeup then anyway, but I will touch base before I touch up my makeup to see how the blush actually looks and how long it lasts. But again, for 50, what I was gonna say was for $56, this better be the best blush ever. Okay, so it is about 6.30 and I'm gonna put on some more makeup and get ready for our birthday dinner tonight. And you can definitely still see it on my cheeks, actually like surprisingly well. So it was a pretty busy day and we were outside for a lot of today. That's why I'm super impressed that it like hasn't really moved. I will say I'm still like not obsessed with the color and obviously the price is like a little insane. So I don't think I would necessarily recommend it. I think I'm perfectly happy just buying the Juice Beauty one, which is pretty similar, but maybe not as long lasting. But all things considered, I think my favorite ones from this week are probably the one from Bite Beauty, which I did some research and actually the ingredients are cleaner than I expected them to be. And they're considered part of the clean program at Sephora, which is so cool. So I didn't realize that. So yay for Bite Beauty and the product was super long lasting. I also really like the pressed blush from Han and I'm just a big fan of the Ilia Color Haze product for the versatility. It's really pretty. I love the color. I don't know that it was as long lasting, but still thought it was pretty good quality and in terms of price they're all within range though I think the Han one is the most affordable one around like $16. Their products are always generally the most affordable and pretty good quality so I would recommend that one if you're looking for a great pressed blush which I'm actually going to put a little bit more on as I fix up my makeup. And that's it for the Clean Beauty 5x5 for blush. As always if you're liking this series, if you want to see more from me, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that way you know when a future video is coming out. So I do have a couple more of these but I'm trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to do them. I have eyeshadow and lipstick but like the wear on either of those is not going to be super long definitely not for lipstick and with my sweaty eyelids i don't think any eyeshadow is super long lasting like even look at today's we'll see what i end up doing with them i'm probably just going to talk through some of my favorite products and like shade ranges and that kind of stuff but with that i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and stay tuned for more clean beauty videos coming up soon have a good one bye